Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Class 8 candidates, welcome again to today's lesson. Today we are looking at the topic ratio and proportion, and we are looking at ratio increase and ratio decrease. Sometimes you can be told that a quantity increases in, in a certain ratio to get the new quantity, or after a certain increase in, the, in a certain ratio, a quantity became this, so to get the original quantity. So to identify or to, uh, to increase quantities using ratios, we use the ratio new quantity is to the original quantity. The new quantity is to the original quantity. So the first uh, quantity or the first number or the first value will represent the new quantity, while the second value will represent the original or the old quantity or the initial quantity. For example, in the ratio A is to B, if something increased in the ratio A is to B, it means that A is the new quantity and B is the original quantity. For example, you are given an example like a, you are given an example like the number of pupils in a school in the year 2001, the number of pupils in that school in the year 2001 was 6. In the year 2001, the school had 600 pupils. So, the number increased to 800 in the year 2002. In the year 2002, the number increased to 800 pupils. So, in the year 2001, the school had 600 pupils. In the year 2002, the school had 800 pupils. Then the question says, what was the ratio increase in the number of pupils? What was the ratio increase in the number of pupils? So, I say that, the, in the, the, the question says, in the year 2001, the number of pupils was 600. In the year 2002, the number of pupils increased to 800. That means the new quantity is 800. We use the formula, new ratio is to original. New is to original. <coughs> new is 800. So the ratio will be 800 is to, the original was 600. So that's not the increase ratio. So should we leave it at this point? No, what are we going to do to it? We simplify. So you go with the zeros because you are simplified by 100. So you have the, the ratio will be 8 is to 6. Can we leave it at that point? No, we simplify further by 2, 4, by 2, 3. So the ratio increases 4 is to 3. That is how simple these questions are. To get the ratio increase, you just say the new quantity over the original quantity. Another example, you can be given another example to work out. You can be given another example to work out. You are told the number of trees in an orchard, the number of orange trees was 120. The number of orange trees was 120 in an orchard. An orchard is a piece of land where trees are grown or uh, fruits are grown. The farmer planted 50, uh, 60 more trees. The farmer planted 60 more trees. The farmer planted 60 more trees. Then the question says, what was the ratio increase in the number of orange trees? Trees. The number of orange trees in, the, in that farm or in that orchard was 120. The farmer planted 60 more trees. So what was the ratio increase? The, we are given the original as 120. Then he planted 60 more. So what is the new quantity? Can we are we going to use 60 as the new quantity? No. So the new quantity after planting 60 more trees, the farmer uh, asked 120 plus 60. So the new quantity is 180. Don't use 60 as the new quantity. 60 is the increase. 60, we are using 60 as the increase. So our 
ratio increase will be new is to original new is to original what is our new quantity 180 what was our original quantity 120 so you see how simple these things are we simplify by 0 by 0 we are left with 18 is to 12 can we simplify further yes which number can simplify both 18 and 12 instead of going by 2 we simplify by 6 by 6 by 6 is 3 by 6 is 2 so the ratio increase is 3 is 2 the ratio increase is 3 is to 2 so you can see in the in, initially this uh, in the number of pupils the ratio increase was 4 is to 3 the number of increase in the orange trees is 3 is to 2 can you realize something can you identify a ratio that is increasing if the first number if the first number or the first value is bigger than the second value that means that ratio is increasing because it is increasing from 3 to 4 not from 4 to 3 because we are using the formula new is to original so in a ratio if you are told to identify an increasing ratio you realize that the, or the first value is larger than the second value why because it is increasing from the right to the left the same applies here. The first number is the or the first value is three, and the second value is two. You can see the first value is greater than the second value. So that means this one is an increasing ratio. If you see a number that is bigger than the smaller than the next number, that is an increasing ratio. For example, the ratio six is to uh, five. This is an increasing ratio because it has increased from five to six. You can be given another number, another ratio like 12 is to 13, uh, sorry, uh, 15 or rather 17 is to 13. 17, uh, something increase the ratio, 17 is to 13. That means 17 is greater than 13. So this is an increasing ratio. So to identify an increased ratio, you look at the number whereby the, the, the first value is greater than the second value. Let us look at another example. Let us look at another example. This one was about percentage, I mean ratio increase. Let's look at other examples on decrease. A farmer delivered 480 liters of milk in the month of June. In the month of June, a farmer delivered uh, 100, uh, 480 liters in the month of June. In the month of August, the number decreased by 80 liters. By August, the number decreased by 80 liters. In the month of June, a farmer delivered 480 liters of milk. In, by the month of August, this number had decreased by 80 liters liters what was the ratio decrease in the number of liters delivered what was the ratio decrease in the number of liters delivered so in the month of june this farmer delivered 480 liters by the in the in the month of august what was the number of liters that the farmer delivered it had decreased by 80 so what is the new quantity here we have 480 minus 80 liters so by the month of august this farmer was delivering 400 liters what was the ratio decrease we still use our formula new is to original new is to original what is our new quantity our new quantity is what 400 liters is to what is our original our original is 480 liters Neo is to original. That is the same same formula that we are using. So we simplify by zero. So we have 40 is to 48. 40 is to 48. We sim simplify by what? By 4. By 4 we get 10. By 4 we get 12. Can we simplify further? Yes. By 2, 5. By 2, 6. So the ratio decrease was 5 is to 6. The new is to or the original. That's what the same formula we are using. So you realize that in ratio decrease, 
The first quantity is smaller than the second quantity. Why? Because it has decreased. Initially, it was in the ratio in the value of 6, but it has decreased to 5. So, if the first value is smaller than the second value, if the first value is smaller than the second value, that is a decreasing ratio. So, what are some of the other ratios which shows decreasing ratio? For example, 3 is to 4. This is a decreasing ratio. If the, 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 the first number or the first value is smaller than the second value, because uh, we are using the ratio new is to original. New is to original. So, <laughs> if you see a ratio which lies like this, that one will show that is a decreasing ratio. So, that is all about ratio increase and ratio decrease. Thank you.